Welcome to the Wally Show Aftercast. Uh, stuff we didn't get to during the course of the show today. Uh, Betty Rock and I were just literally having a conversation before we started this about the ways that we handle different situations. And she had a uh, watching a show and it was buffering after she blamed me. Like, what'd you do? I didn't do anything. It's buffering. <laughs> You're the worst. Okay, fine. Uh, and so then she just finally just shut it off. You just... You just walked away from the problem. Yeah, I just turned the TV off because it was How buffering can you do for that? so long. How can you just, do that? To me, that feels like I'm telling it what to do. Like I'm putting yeah. it in its place. Oh, by so you won? It off. Interesting. Yeah, I won. Because like for yeah, me, I that. I don't win until I like hear what I wanted to hear on the TV. Mm-hmm. Like right now, oh, so it's maybe, winning. Oh, so maybe I did lose. You lost. Yeah, it's eating your lunch right now. Yeah. Uh, really? See, yeah, it's so different the she, way she like, can lose. I told her, I said, walk over there and punch it. That'll, you'll feel so much better. <laughs> and you, and so potties wonder, why don't you take advice from Wally? Yeah. He's super full of wisdom. Absolutely. He's telling me to punch a TV yeah. because it won't do what I tell it to. Exactly. Because you can't do that with people. So, I mean, it makes <laughs> I've you... I've tried. I know, right? They, they frown on that at HR. Uh, <laughs> I use quotation it, marks. I use quotation marks for <laughs> HR. <laughs> Not a real job. <laughs> Uh, I am really curious how many people uh, from our company <laughs> listen to our podcast, Do you the Aftercast. Know that? Um, I get glimpses of I know, like our CEO has listened before. I don't know how often he listens, but he'll reference things from uh, the podcast. I know our COO listens to the station a lot to the show, and so. I, I'm just curious. The, the the podcast is where a lot of the the longer form reality comes out of things. So I'm real curious, like because I've complained about things uh, about the you? the station before, you know, and 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 I don't, I'm not, and you're not secretive about no, it. No, no, and I, I think that's, I mean, honestly, I think that's the best way to be because like <laughs> if I'm going to say something uh, on the podcast and someone calls me on it, then I'm yeah, I own that. I said that absolutely. Um, mm. so I don't, I don't shy away from that. Mm. Um, but this is where I like to discuss all the big life stuff like this one. What is going on in women's sports? First, Caitlin Clark is discriminated against and not put on the USA women's Olympic basketball team. Now, Alex Morgan is being left off of the USA women's Olympic soccer team. I mean, her record speaks for itself. She's been on four world cup teams. Uh, winning two of those. She's been on three Olympic teams, won gold in 2012. I am once again flabbergasted and angry at the decision from our Olympic coaches. Maybe we should consider changing them because they obviously can't make decisions. Uh, The coach said, I mean, first off, I want to talk about what an amazing player she is. Oh, if she's so amazing, you left her off the team. And she's also a great human. Oh, sounds like a perfect team member for your thing. Her record speaks for itself once again. Uh, But we want to go in a different direction. Oh, like losing? You want to go in a different direction and lose? How about you do that? What a great coach you are. Full disclosure, I just found out who Alex was today. Uh, (laughs) And I'm very passionate about it. Like, that was a good rant that felt like I knew anything about her. Like, that's how I do this. Tiny bits of information enormous amounts of passion you know but yeah so i guess another lady got left off of a team that people are like oh that's not Hmm. right Hmm. so anyway hey whatever happened uh, gavin you follow women's soccer no oh okay i thought you did (laughs) i'm sorry i I thought you were a fan i was looking it up to see because in my head i was like i really i hope he is kind of being not so serious about this because she's quite old she's old yeah she's been playing she's been synonymous with you know, U.S. women's soccer for 14 years, right. of which, what? during which... How old is she? She's older. Probably, probably in her 40s, mid, maybe? Mid-30s, probably. Oh, mid-30s? If is she it? started playing well, around 20, 20 or 21, old? she'd well, be she in had, her mid. Yeah, 32, because she wow. she won in, in 2012, the US 12 years ago. The U.S. women's soccer team is dominant within yeah, in the, the women's soccer realm, right. which is kind of insane because the U.S. men's soccer team is pitiful. Yeah, they get is, clobbered. Is, it's very hard for us to amount to anything there. So I'm very curious about what that says from like the world's perspective. Does you know men, young men in Europe are told play soccer and they right. play soccer and they dominate, but it may be in other countries they don't tell girls to, they don't, don't inspire Maybe they girls, don't, yeah. but over here we do. Yeah. It's so interesting to me. Yeah, I it was it, it, like for her to be, I don't want to say washed up, but twelve years ago, you know, she won thirty five. Okay, thirty five. 
Like, that is kind of crazy. But, I mean, you do. You lose your stamina. You lose your legs. Even when you're in the best <laughs> shape, you lose a step at 35 that a 20-year-old ha- still has. Yeah, and I would say this, too, from a, a planning and a coaching perspective, and it's funny because you could argue that this is the uh, opposite argument from the Caitlin Clark situation, but to tell... They say that they're going in a different direction by going younger on the right. national stage for this team. And I do see an advantage to giving the younger women on this in in this country that play soccer the opportunity to see what it's like and to learn sure. what it means to play on the national level. And so maybe you do sacrifice talent for youth. I'm in sure some they ways. though are keeping some of the talent. Her, you have to keep some of the you older do. players because that's I mean, those are your captains. Those are the people that have been there, know how to do this, and they can help bring up that next generation and they can teach them and guide them and and there's wisdom and just from being somewhere before you have less nerves, you know, because nerves play a big part in this. Like, you can be a great player. You get to a place you haven't been before, and you can lock up, you know. And one thing, too, is that whenever you go to these these Olympics or the World Cup, the the turnaround naturally between games is a lot closer together than than ML, or I guess it would be... MLS. Yes. WMLS. WML Women's Major League Soccer. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever you have that, you usually are playing a game maybe once every week. So if there's a week and a lot of times I think there's a smaller gap in between that. And so it does seem like there maybe is an advantage to having younger, sure. fresher, you know, bodies when it comes to yeah. that versus somebody who maybe, you know, plays a good game but then three days later isn't ready for a whole nother ninety minute match. Yes, I'm Betty? bored. Oh, okay, <laughs> dude. No, this is my world. <laughs> women's soccer. Yeah, we're talking about women's S- sports. Soccer. Okay, that great point. Even you're bored at yeah. women's sports. So why do we have? Yeah, them? She doesn't like sports in general. I don't know, but I do like that movie that we were talking about earlier today. What was it? Um, There's no crying in baseball. Oh yeah, yeah. I brought up a league of their own. Betty's outfit looked like she came off the set of. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah, league of their own. That's a great movie. Uh, well, what do you got? Oh, okay. Yeah, is it more fun than this Well, I think it's pretty interesting. So there is, is <laughs> there's a Guatemala clothing brand. It's called Divino Seas, maybe Divino Seas. I'm not sure. But anyways, they part of their um, page, their product page, they sell string bikinis, okay, oh, 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 for women. And for some reason, they thought it was a good idea to name some of their bikinis after women in history, okay? It doesn't make sense. The two do not correlate. I would love to have. see the string bikini called the Margaret Thatcher, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like. So they do have one that's that's named after Rosa Parks. Why? What in the yeah, world? Yeah, I looked at the, po- uh, the post of it. So it's a hot pink string bikini. It's like any other bikini you can get. The bottom and the top are sold separately. They run around a little under $200. Oh, my goodness. They are sold out. See, okay, now this does make Rosa sense. Parks. Like, because I know women complain about trying on a bathing suits all the time. And my wife has said, I wish I could have this size bottom and this size top uh, because I'm I'm shaped differently, you know? <laughs> and so I think at Target for a while you could do that. Yeah, like, yeah. and I think that's getting to were, be more. But they were more normal. cost effective. Like yeah, $200 for each piece right, is crazy. $168. That's insane. I know. So they have one called the Rosa Parks that has sold out. They have another one that's called the Eleanor after Eleanor, Eleanor Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Oh. <laughs> it, and, and that one's These even crazier. Don't match up. No. They don't match They up. don't. I don't understand why they think this was a good idea. And there really is no... There's no post it's, about it. And and even when they give the description, like you would think, oh, they give the description of the product. It's going to have something that pertains to yeah, like, uh, oh, that her woman. strong leadership and it Mm-mm. takes a strong woman to no. lead a country and wear this suit. No, so this is the Rosa Parks one. Okay. It says 75% polyester and 25% spandex inspired by the woman mm. whose righteous rebellion against our, 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 
Apartheid. 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 Apartheid style segregation in the United States sparked the civil rights movement of the 1960s. In honor of Rosa Parks, we've included this artesian inspired <laughs> salute to couture to domain of luxury swimwear. Oh my God. No. If, Rosa, if you took Rosa Parks, you took no. her out of the grave and told her, hey, yeah. look at this swimsuit that we made in honor of you. <laughs> I don't think she'd understand yeah. it whatsoever. How is this helping race relations? Um, right, Unless it doesn't. They were selling a swimsuit that. Whoa. <laughs> I have to think was about... it Bus Yellow or something? Well, no, you know, was, like at least that at least that would have some connection. No, it's like a rose color. No, if it was made out of, the, it, so no, it was made out of the material that they make like bus seats out. Right, of. like like some <laughs> connection. There's no connection. There's zero. Yeah, it's yeah, weird. It doesn't make any sense. But I think what makes what doesn't make even more sense is that they're selling out. Yeah, well, yeah. that's just that's idiot people get. that just don't care about, like, they don't want to save their money, right. you know. And, oh, I've got the Rosa Parks. Really? Well, good for you. Yeah. Are you really going to tell people that? Yeah. Though? Why would you tell someone What that? happens is yeah. that some stupid influencers, they either pay them or they buy it, and then they're like, yeah. this is amazing. And then all these other sheep get in line, and they just <laughs> yeah. go, and they buy it. It's it's yeah. so true, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, I will say that. I, I will say this. Uh, I have looked at reviews more for products than ever before now because you just, I mean, you're trying to buy so much online There's and so it's many so things. hard to know. Mm -hmm. So I'll go to YouTube and watch someone do, I hate unboxings because they spend 20 minutes talking about the packaging. It is the most annoying thing. What? I'll tell you what's even more annoying what? is when you complain about something, but yeah. you watch something even more well, ridiculous. I fast forward through it because I, oh, I have to keep getting to it. Oh, that you fast forward. Yeah, absolutely. But this is from a guy that will watch the TikTok lives where you give him a little icon and the person yeah. will go, hot sauce, hot sauce, oh, rose, Take rose, for the rose, rose, take for the rose. And he sits there and he turns it on high volume so I that we have to hear it. We'll be sad. Uh, I am very Sad, none of those are coming up in my Thank feed goodness. anymore. Even the guy with the like slightly balding guy, like spicy chili, spicy <laughs> chili. Like he's not coming up anymore, and I'm really sad about that. He was my favorite, so that he won't complain about. Yeah, but, but like the unboxing oh, sends me through him. the roof. It's like just look, I don't care about the packaging. I just want to know if this dumb thing works or not. That's all I want to know. <laughs> I had a company though, but but again, people look at these things. So I bought a uh, mold uh, the other day for doing. Uh, Ceramic or uh, epoxy cutting board. You bought it because you saw an ad for it on TikTok. No, I just took oh. a chance. I read it. I read some of the reviews, okay. and I and but I bought it. There wasn't an unboxing. That no, you no, no, no. Okay. Uh, and so I bought it. But the company sent me an email after, and they said, "Hey, if you would like some more of these dividers." Uh, for free, and I'm like, "Oh, that's nice. You save thirty bucks or something like that." Um, like, uh, if you would do a review for us online with a post and a picture or, and or a picture uh, we'll send you these for free because they realize the value in people using the product and endorsing it because yeah. it does make a difference mm -hmm. for people. I'm just not a fan of the, hey guys, I got some new lipstick today. Once again, you are a fan of no, it not. because of that girl that's like, I'm going to run my plane into the ground today. Fly Oops, with K. My toesies. <laughs> There's another girl that I started you watching do fly. Like it. There's another girl. She's not as um as cutesy as K. Like I think you might actually like her. Like she's more just she's just a pilot. Seems like she actually knows what she's doing. She seems well. No, they both do. Kay's a good pilot. She has all these pilot degrees. I'm gonna use my little tootsies to push this little pedal. Personality. She is so jealous of her. Like I am of. I am angry that you sit there and you complain about something and you are such a hypocrite. This is why you do like that stuff. This is why we have separated our TikTok accounts. Yes. Yeah. Betty Rock went and got her own TikTok. I complained about that for two years. I know, and then she finally left. Now, if you if you notice this though, here's what you need to notice about this. You know how committed I am. I did not leave her. She <laughs> left me. See, I am committed. I stayed in this, regardless of the, the numerous oh cat videos, gosh. regardless of the numerous makeup brush videos. There, I stayed that's in it because my videos yeah. aren't aren't sick. Yeah. Like you, I, if I had the algorithm of sick. yours, all of a sudden I'm gonna see this zebra get killed by a, a lion. Crocodile, yeah. I will I will have to watch its body <laughs> get ripped apart. Then the next one, I'm gonna see a guy oh. who face plants on a skateboard That's on hilarious. the concrete yeah. and breaks his leg. Yeah. None of those guy stuff. 
Yeah. None of those so pertain to me. I know none of yours pertain to me, but I stayed in it because I yeah, value the line this relationship. Will make you gag. It's just a yeah. swipe up. You it, don't yeah. have to watch it. Yeah. So I, I mean, didn't want to. I just got on there. Who's to committed like, in this? I me. Can't, I can't find. I'm this committed. Anymore. I'm the I'm friend. So, I'm so done. I know what it's like to go through a divorce. Okay. <laughs> I know because it's fighting someone that you will never win. I know what it's like they to always play the victim. Live card. in a loveless work marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Where I'm the only one fighting for well, this relationship. Welcome to it. <laughs> <laughs> I want out. <laughs> you can never leave. <laughs> I All can't right. have you. No one will. Yeah. Do you have um, uh, any birthdays? Yes, I do. Let Go the for it. duh. Okay. Woo-hoo. Olivia to her son Evan. She said uh, he's turning 15. He's a longtime potty. Um, for 10 years. Wow. Oh, wow. He once shaved his eyebrow like Becca. Oh, yeah. Becca talked about that one time. He loves Chick-fil-A like Betty Rock, mm. but he's Team Wally. Oh, nice. I like this guy. The rant. Sorry, Gavin, but he loves dogs. Oh, hmm. oh, oh, yeah. Why was uh, it a sorry, Gavin? I don't hmm. know. Because I love dogs, too. Well, you used to not. Oh, yeah. That's back true. You used to be scared of them, so maybe yeah. that's why. Um, and then... Um, Olivia is requesting the birthday song. Oh, we haven't done this in a long time. Happy Happy birthday from all of us. You wish us happy birthday so we can party too. Hey. Yeah. I hope that when I go to uh, Carabas for my anniversary today, that they will sing the anniversary song. Like, what is that? Happy anniversary from all of us to you. Wish it was our anniversary so we could be married too. Hey. I don't know. That's just sad. Um, we didn't even talk about that because we did. If you haven't seen it yet, um, stop right now, pause this, <laughs> and go the to our socials. Yeah, go to our socials. So um, I post today is Wally and Marty's thirty second wedding anniversary. Mm-hmm. I asked him. I said, "What year did y'all get married?" And he was like, "Well, I was working at so and so at this time back." No, that go through. Yeah, it took him way too long, and I don't trust his. I math just needed because I needed so to be I right. So I just t- I sent a text to Marty. Marty texts me right back. Yeah, and I got the answer. And five minutes later, Wally's like 1992. Yeah. But she's been <laughs> wrong before though too. Like she made this whole thing for our anniversary one day with one time with all of the significant dates in our relationship. She had it wrong. <laughs> she got two of them wrong. That's pretty funny. Yeah, and so and she refused to display it. Like I'm like I love this. Mm-hmm. I love it even more now mm-hmm. because anytime anyone comes over i'll be like hey see that yeah my wife got the dates <laughs> wrong, but i think she threw it away well anyway oh, so you can see a, a photo of their wedding yeah. and it is precious and, you, and my wife sent it to you this is what i don't understand okay so my wife like years ago ryan the temp was a uh, uh, uh intern with us mm-hmm. okay and he took my wedding photo on an anniversary and posted it on Awkward Family Photos, and mm-hmm. it just got blasted. Mm-hmm. Like, it hurt my wife's feelings. It okay? was so popular yeah, because of, well, just they, the, the, the day, the time, and the age. Because he and, posted yeah. it, they had actually reached back out to him and wanted to use it, like, on a calendar and needed his permission. And I told him, absolutely not. You <laughs> tell them, no, my wife is so not happy about this, okay? I didn't care. Didn't phase me a bit, whatever, because mm-hmm. uh, I got long hair back in the day. It's a black and white 80s type wedding in the 90s, <laughs> a little smidge late, you know, uh, but like she, she so it hurt her feelings. And so why she sent you that picture of all the pictures we have, I was really yeah, surprised. It's almost like it's the same picture. It's just zoomed out more. And yeah. now your parents are in it. But she did say in the text, because I did want to know what I should, what the, the post should be with the photo oh, okay. and she said she wanted it to be more focused on your parents and how they taught you both how to love well oh, okay well that's so good. i did do that and we didn't make your hair the main uh the main i get it piece of, but i did i was looking at people's comments and they yeah. were pretty funny already yeah so kent said uh Marty is one tough lady. She's still trying to rehab rehab him. Yeah, it's pretty that's true. pretty true. Sean said this photo smells like Aquanet. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. So good. That's so funny. Anyways, if you search if you search Wally Show on Facebook or Instagram, so you can funny. see it there. You will also make sure to turn up your speakers on your phone or your computer or whatever because you will hear the song in the background that is Firehouse Love of a Lifetime. Nice. And that was the song that they danced to. I have to so I so I have precious. to look at Facebook real quick to see. And I will say, you look a lot like your dad. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you. And I would say Haley, your daughter, uh-huh. looks a lot like Marty. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That's, when Haley was little, she looked 
uh, like me a lot. But then when if you go back and look at Marty's pictures when she, when Marty was a kid, yeah, like almost crazy mm-hmm. spitting image. Uh, I'm trying to see if uh, the guy is still alive. Saying, Finally found the love at my wedding. of a lifetime. Because we, we had a uh, wedding <laughs> singer uh, do it. Um and not we couldn't get that band so oh doesn't look like I can find him oh well uh but uh yeah so good times I love the comments I always forget to look at comments Betty Rock she loves Sometimes the comments that's where the comedy that's where is. The well, smoke is with with James Chapesky that guilty pleasure that we have on the show <laughs> like it, the comments are like so how much smoke do you want on the set yes. yeah <laughs> oh, yeah yeah yes <laughs> yes how much smoke would you like yes <laughs> that's one of my favorite comments ever. Uh, all right. Well, we didn't get said, to qu- the question. I know we got twenty minutes on the, on this already. Uh, is it a quick question? Yeah, I think so. Okay, go. If you could understand your pet's thoughts, what would you want to know first and foremost? Why will you not stop meowing? <laughs> Why? Why when I've just I petted could, you, when I've I can fed you? I answer that for her. She's lonely. She's oh. sad. She's depressed. She's anxious. She just wants someone to hold her and tell her everything is going to be okay. Are you describing my cat or you? <laughs> <laughs> Rude and uncalled for, Thank but you. accurate. Yeah. <laughs> no, like she, like she had stopped all the meowing for a minute, and now she does it. But now she uh, is picking her times more. Uh, mm. Like she's not doing it during the middle of the day. Because you threatened her with the when, needle. I know when she's. I did when she's sleeping. <laughs> like she's fine, but now she's like getting up at two in the morning and doing this nonsense. Like, come on, Sasha. Mm. I don't even have the strength to throw something at you. <laughs> and I can't see you. You can meow. see in the dark. That's it. Meow, 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 meow. And she has like 10 different meows. Well, why don't you just pick her up? Maybe she just wants to be I can't held. find her. Sometimes she's in the other room. And it's 2 oh. in the morning. And she's like, meow, <laughs> meow. And sounds like, dad, does, dad. Does it wake up Marty? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it wakes us both up. It's Marty's anger level. Um, She doesn't like it either. If I'm a 10... She's uh, seven. Okay. She has a nice. little more compassion. She's like, she's old, honey. <laughs> and I'm like, so she's are you. Old. So oh watch your step, too. <laughs> it's your anniversary. Yeah. Get all the jokes Happy out. Happy anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, I have two cats. Um, Rayford Allen and Buford Beans. Favorite? Who? Oh, Stop no, no, it. No, no. So if I... What I, I saw both of them on her Instagram last night. I was like, I haven't seen that. Yeah, we haven't boy. seen Buford Stop in it. so long. Here's the question. I thought he got abducted. Like yeah. Stop it. I would like to ask these questions. <laughs> okay. First off, first off, Buford Beans, what? why won't you let me hold you? Oh, oh yeah. Just be a cat That's and yeah. let me hold you. Back in the day, he would let me hold him like a little baby. Yeah. And I would scratch Love his little that. chin and his chest, and he loved it. Now, it's like he's in his teenage era, yeah. and he's driving me crazy. I'd want to hold him and he's just pulling away from me and that makes me mad it hurts, yeah, I, yeah, it it hurts makes you mad. my heart yeah see and you just want to love him and he doesn't yeah, want it yeah no i get but it think but rayford allen it? will let me just i yeah. mean he, yeah he doesn't care do you think that buford views it though well, you brought home a second cat maybe he's mad at you i wasn't enough yeah maybe you he's know? mad at you. you think he has a, a well little i did it complex? for him i did it for him because i thought he would be lonely yeah he was, Turned out he was happy my before. Life. I know, it was great. You ruined my life. For Rayford Allen, I would say, stop playing in the litter box. It mm. is not a playground. I get it. Is that a question? And don't do it to get my attention. Mm. It's just going to make me more mad. Really? You, you have, so it stop. Like you have some anger issues towards but your then, cats. But then I, I, like there, last night, I was sitting in bed. And he was in there just scratching in the litter box (laughs) and doing nothing. Like, he just does it to do it. Yeah. And I go, Rayford Allen. And I clap my hands like this. Yeah, I do that too. And then he gets out and he looks at me and he's like, no. Yeah. And I'm like, oh. So, so cute. cute. Get over here. <laughs> Rayford Allen, get your little tiny tuchus over here. I'm going to spank it. A little tiny tuchus. I love it. You what? Yeah. You what? Yeah. All right, Gavin. I would... I would try and bargain with Jasper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't have the power in this scenario, but I do want to ask him, you know, how can we get you to sleep through the night? Sure. Like, how can we... And stop pooping in and the it, house. I will say yeah. that three nights in a row now, now that we've transitioned from them sleeping in the guest room, yeah. which is the baby's room, and into the living room, first few nights that my mom was in town, we did that. And he just, one in the morning, yeah, oh, and then... Dealt with that 
problem for a few nights. The last three nights, I haven't heard a peep. Oh, that's until good. Until I kind of roll over at four in the morning and I, mm. ch- I grab my phone and I, I, I guess through all the fans and through the doors, <laughs> he, hears he can it. hears that. And yeah. I hear a little, yeah. like at that. I'm like, okay, I'm coming, buddy. I yeah. got you. Now I'm up. You wake up. You that's Because okay. now he's and on he, your schedule. Yeah, you adhere yeah, to my okay. schedule. Yeah. And so, but I never quite understood. Uh, again, I understand that when it comes to dogs, that a shifting of their normal schedule and their normal life, you have to understand that there is a, a hiccup era between <laughs> them adjusting. Sure. It's like a baby. That adjustment was hard. And so now these last three nights, they've made it through. I will say that last night at 1030 or so, just both of them went nuts barking at something. Mm. And <gasps> that, ghost. I assume, was outside. Oh. Because Haley said that I woke up really mad. Mm. Um, but then I was talking to her earlier, and I was like, no, I was I was kind of just terrified. Because yeah. <laughs> all of a sudden I was like, and then all of a sudden you hear, <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to get mad happening? at your dogs when they bark at something outside because you never know what they've heard mm-hmm. or protected you yeah. from, you know, mm-hmm. kind of thing. So. Well, I've some up. stories. I know. And so, I've shared them. I would just ask Jasper to... scared them. To... to, to Chill out a little bit. Yep. But Would you say anything to Ellie? Uh, Who's the good girl? How are you so cute? Like, why are you so good? Um, how Jasper lo- is your Hayden. Yeah. I had <laughs> but full, I do love him. I had a full blown conversation with Rayford Allen one time. I was like, how did you get to be so handsome? You know what? We'll just never know because mm. it's one of God's little secrets. Yeah. Was he in the litter box when he did that? No. Or? No. no. But he had his little chunky belly laying out. Uh, yeah. Like I just want to beat it like a drum. That's the thing. Like the cats. Like uh, Hank. Or was Hank was the best cat. Like you could hold him upside down, cradle him, like yeah. throw him over your shoulder. Didn't matter. And you wanted to be on your lap. He was a lap cat, Aww. a loving cat. Loved that cat. Sasha. Like you cannot cradle her. She she's like, oh gosh, <laughs> Almighty, what is going on? Like she cannot do it. Is all. Yeah, she cannot do it for whatever reason. But like I can pick her up and I'll pick her up and I put her little front paws over my elbow, the crux to mm-hmm. my elbow, mm-hmm. and then I just walk circles in the house and she just loves it. She like Aww. purrs and she lays her head down. Sweet baby. So I can hold her that way, but you cannot cradle her. Yeah. And but at night though, I mean, yeah, she's she definitely is a lap cat, get on your chest cat, you know. Uh, meow, yeah. meow, 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 meow. <laughs> oh, good lord. Uh, I'm going to ask her, hey, how do you want to leave this earth? <laughs> and when? <laughs> Just a slow. Is it going to be sooner rather than later? Yeah, exactly. I'm going to start, instead of pillows, keep hammers by my oh bed. My God. <laughs> All right, that is going to scar the children that are listening, <laughs> and that's going to do it for your aftercast. Thanks for being a potty. Growing up in poverty has never been easy for children, but with the added challenges of the pandemic, conflict, and natural disasters, families around the world are facing an unprecedented food crisis. Unfortunately, those who are already hungry are now even more desperate. But by sponsoring a child through compassion, you can help provide life-sustaining essentials such as food and clean water. And with your compassionate support, that child can not only survive, but also flourish. You can find out how and choose a child to sponsor when you click on the compassion banner at wayfm.com.